Hey guys, it's Nathan from EastEnders Topics here. Here's five reasons why we should all be excited for Kate Oates. Number one, she's putting the Mitchells back on the map. Obviously she's just recast Max Bowden as Ben Mitchell, which did raise a few eyebrows, but I think we should give Max a chance and let him bring his own Ben across. I think it'd be an exciting time to see Ben. We haven't seen for a year what's he been up to in that 12 months he's been away from Watford. And obviously Lola's going to be coming back with Alexis, so that play a big part in it. And I'm interested to see where Kate will take that all their story. Lexi is obviously going to have a recast, but that hasn't been confirmed yet who's going to be playing Lexi. So be interesting. And also Jay might fit into this story. He obviously had a pass with Lola, and obviously he was good. His Ben is like his brother, well they are technically half brothers now, with Billy. Well, actually, I don't know, but whatever way, Jay's always been his best friend slash brother sort of relationship, so that would be good. And obviously you got the Shianu stuff, which I'm going to talk about a bit later. But I think Phil and Keanu's relationship is going to grow. And I think that'll be exciting. I'll talk a bit more about that in a few minutes, Keanu fans, for you. Number two would be the casting of Chantal Baker. It hasn't been announced who's playing her yet, but it's always been a character I've been interested in. We've heard her name mentioned on a multiple bit of times now. And it'll be interesting to see how she gets on. And especially that she's the big sister of Keegan. Because obviously it comes from Mitch and Karen. So it'd be interesting to see the relationship between all of all four of them characters. So that'd be exciting. I think it's about time the Taylors got put on the map. They have been before, but I don't think in the past few years they haven't been given the... They haven't been given the spotlight, which will be good to see. So I'm excited to see what Chantal brings to the Tylers and how she gets on with all the family and if she has, how she mixes with other residents of the square. So that'll be really exciting. Number three, I want to see more interaction with different characters, different group pages. For example, like the Carters, maybe giving them new friendships to mingle around the place and not just stay in one part. I'm a big fan of the cars, but I think the spotlight needs to shade away from them and it needs to be a group of people. And I think it'd be interesting because there's been rumours of a gay bar, which could be another place for other characters to go. But I'm doing a Q&A after this video if I get enough questions and that is one of the questions, so I'll save that for another day for now. And the next thing is, I just want to see like different characters, like maybe, for example, Ian and Ian Beale and, for example, Ian Beale and maybe Patrick having a sit down together and a nice little chat and just give characters like Patrick, Denise and Kim more light and get all characters involved, not just the main ones, and give them all their own little spotlight, which would be good. And on to number four, it's the Shianu story. I think recently just seen Louise like Keanu, so I think that'd be interesting. I think, like I touched on it earlier, I think Phil Mitchell's relationship with Keanu is going to grow, and I think that's one thing Kate will do. I think I think it's going to get really messy under her and it's going to be something really good to watch. And I just think we're going to give Sharon some spotlight and I think it'll be good, especially when Phil Mitchell finds out he won't be happy. And obviously the Mitchells are expanding now with Ben, so he could come into that story too and... I think the Tylers could go to war with the Mitchells, which would be interesting to see. 
So I think there's loads of dynamics to that story that Kate will get spot on. I mean, in the past, I haven't been a fan, but I really think Kate can make this story explosive and exciting for us fans. And I really feel that it's the time to shine. And I think it's going to be an exciting time to watch Kate and see what she does with these Mitchells and Taylors. And I think these two families are going to be exciting. Number five would be the Slaters. Obviously, Sean Slater's returning to EastEnders, which would be exciting. Because when he left, obviously, he tried to take Roxy and Amy. And Jack's still living there, and Amy's grown up now, so that'll put the perspective. But I think the other main reason he's coming back is for a short stint. Obviously, it's a short stint, guys, but I think it'll be exciting to see how he gets on with Jean and Stacey. Because I know Jean's got a big story coming up, which I think Kate is going to get absolutely spot on. I think that should be an exciting face. I love Kat, but I think it's about time the spotlight was on Jean for once. Because I think Gillian Wright, if I've got a name right, that is, I apologise, Gillian. But I think she'll be ex- she'll be fantastic in this story. I mean, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but she's a great actress who can really deliver. And obviously Lacey Turner there, she'll also shine. And I think it'll be a great story. I've also heard Mo's going to have an interesting flatmate. So that would be going back to interesting character dynamics and different groups and mixing it all together. But this is why we should be really excited for Kato's. Anyway guys, it's been Nathan from EastEnders Topics here. I hope you've enjoyed my video. I'll be doing a QA and a next. So if you follow me on Twitter, ask me your questions or comment below. I really appreciate if you could subscribe and comment on this video. If not, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.